more like crappie aquariums. XD, 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 XD. All right, does anyone want to be my editor? Is there anyone in need of a job? Anyone at all? I don't need to have any experience. Surely you can do better than that comment in Twitch chat. Anyone? Time for crappy aquariums. What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Sweet Fishes Cafe. This isn't an accident. This is a real thing. <laughs> what? What? I assumed a koi tank exploded and it flooded. No, this is a cafe where the, the koi presumably bite the dead skin. I want that American ass thing on the wall. What is this? Is that a bald eagle? Mount Rushmore? The Golden Gate Bridge? What? Hollywood, a bald eagle, Mount Rushmore, and the American flag. At Sweet Fishes. There is no spelling of fishes that makes it look like this. If it, the fish are possessing it, you would have an apostrophe. If it's multiple fish, there'd be an E there. This makes no sense in any language. Sweet Fishes Cafe. I hate stop zooming on our face. And there's just koi everywhere. Well, those koi are gonna die. Yeah, what happens if someone spills their drink? That's crazy. What if I'm like, oh, sorry, whoops, spilt my tea at the koi cafe. Oh, all of the fish are dead. You just spore, spill, scalding, scalding. Give me a second, need to turn my brain off and on again. What if you poured scalding hot coffee into the water? Can you pick up the fish out of the water and that's what your dinner is? I don't think you really want to eat koi, but I suppose that that is a, a possibility. That is a thing that you are capable of doing. R slash place bowls equals abuse. Okay. If you don't know, r slash place is this thing on Reddit where you can... They do it like once a year. They didn't do it for a while, but now they're doing it again. Where you can place one pixel of color at a time. And the entire world for 24 hours places one pixel of color at a time. And then whatever the final result is, the final result. So you'll see people will work together to create things like the American flag. Or cute drawings like this. <laughs> Apparently there were a bunch of crappy aquariums in r slash place. Told my friend this is way too small for them. What do you guys think? I see a cichlid, a goldfish, and hopefully not a koi, but I'm frightened that that is a koi. I don't know. Let's just hope it's a species of goldfish that I'm not familiar with. Even for the cichlid that's pushing it, but... No, yeah, nope, that's a koi. How could I not share this masterpiece? Um... How did, wait, can they get between? No, they can't get between. This is just a bunch of fish bowls connected by piping. It's like one of those cool fountains, except you're not supposed to put fish in it. And also it's homemade. Yeah, I saw outdoor fish bowls like this in Malaysia. And honestly, this house looks, I mean, I'm not, I'm not in GeoGuessr mode, but this house looks Malaysian for me. What the hell? How'd we get here? People just had like uh, like plastic. These are like the tops of jugs upside down outside their house. That's some of the city parts that I walked there in Malaysia. Post reads, my beautiful babies getting along and having fun. We've got four, five betta fish. And no, that's a sixth betta fish. Is that a seventh betta fish right there? And some snails in this. And I hope this is a wire and not a crack. But either way, Jesus. Yep. It's just a betta sorority, so cute. So many female bettas all living together in harmony. Fish decay disease. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's a form of hole in the head. I don't know much about saltwater diseases, but that's crazy. They've got like a mask where their skin, their flesh is melting away. You can see their skull. <laughs> it's not their skull, though. I think it's just like the melting of the top layer of skin. There's something called hole in the head disease, which does something similar to that, but I don't know if that applies to saltwater fish. Is this bad? Wait, I just realized my air conditioner is on. Listen to me now and tell me if my voice quality changes. 
Is the quality of my mic better now? Don't placebo yourself because I would like to be cold. I would like to be at a reasonable temperature. Way better? God damn it. It was the air conditioner the whole time. Well, guess I'm gonna have to live in guess I'm gonna have to live in heat. Alright, anyways. Is this bad? If you have to ask, the answer's probably yes. Found this in a seafood restaurant, poor guy. Yeah, arowanas in like 30 to 50 gallon tanks in seafood restaurants is a pretty universal experience. Why is why is my water orange? Is it the rock? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did you get the rock? Why is there one fish, a snail, and a rock? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's probably the rock. There's not many other explanations. Facebook Marketplace strikes again. What is this? This looks like found footage. Hmm. Nice. Half empty tank with... I don't even know. I don't even have a guess as to what's in there. Is this like an albino parrot fish? <laughs> oh, is the water purple? I did just notice that surely that's the lighting, right? I don't think I've ever seen purple water. Bro, we're collecting all the aquarium flavors. We've seen green, we've seen orange, now we've seen purple. <laughs> We're collecting all the, all the, uh, yeah, this is grape, grape aquarium. We're collecting all the Gatorade flavors. My great uncle's fish tank. I want to get him a better setup. Anybody know where I can get a checklist and care guide? Nope. Sorry. Bro, I get so many DMs, so many DMs about aquariums. There is a big difference between being a seasoned, like, aquarium veteran who can answer the specific questions about, like, your goldfish's needs in terms of temperature range. Like, Google will do a much better job at that than I ever will. Direct them at the Discord aquarium chat. I'm not going to send them to hell just for asking a question, okay, Sunday? But I get a lot, a lot of DMs asking aquarium questions. So let me be clear. I am capable of recognizing what is an abusive aquarium setup and what things generally need. I do not have a memorized spreadsheet in my head of all of the numbers of pH and temperature that every fish does. Every fish is in need of. That's why you have Google. What's your least favorite question you get? My least favorite question? I get a lot of shitty questions. I don't know if you guys know, but I get three to four Twitter DMs every day. It slowed down. It used to be close to 10 every day. I get three to four Twitter DMs every day, and I read them all. I read every DM that comes to my Twitter, and I know it's dangerous for me to say that because Ghostboy is going to put it in the YouTube video, and then a million people are going to start DMing me on Twitter. But you know what? You do you. Maybe let this be a lesson to YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and ask questions there. Stop sending me things on Instagram. God, I hate that I get so many things sent to me on Instagram. Anyways, I get a lot on Twitter, and I probably answer one, like, every five days or so. So, one in 15 DMs I, I, uh, I end up answering. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's not, and it's not even that I have high standards. Like, I feel like I answer any reasonable DM that I haven't, isn't, like, a question that I've already answered at some point in the past, I answer. So, it's not even like I have high standards, I just, you know getting very uh, shitty DMs. Wow.